When the term parents is used in this video, it can be any grown-up or adult who is taking care of you, either right now or permanently. Hey everyone, it's Librarian Kat, and we're here today to do a craft for Kids Create. Today we're going to be making some penny spinners. So, you're going to need some supplies. You're going to need a piece of cardboard. You're going to need something that has a round um, bottom that you can trace. It should be about four inches wide. Um, it could be a bowl or a mug. It could be a little bit bigger or smaller than four inches, but that's about the right size you need. You will need a pencil to trace with. You will need something to color in your spinner with. Markers, Sharpies, crayons, anything that you might have at home that you can use to color. And you will need a penny or two, depending on how many spinners you make. And then you are going to need some scissors. And probably sharp scissors would be the best because it will be difficult to cut through the cardboard. So if you are a little one, you will need your parents to come help you do the cutting, okay? So why don't you pause now? It's time for you to go and gather up your supplies. Are you all back now? Okay, it's time to start making our craft. Okay, so first we're gonna take our object and we are going to put it on the cardboard. Try to find a spot that's blank so that you don't have some images on it. I'm going to trace it around. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, and there we've got our circle. Okay, next we are going to take the cardboard and cut out our circle. And remember, if you have sharp scissors, you should be having your parent help you with this part. Okay, so now you have your circle, and when you color it in, keep in mind that you're going to be having an optical illusion going on while the spinner is spinning. So you might want to try something like half of it being red and half being blue to see what happens. Um, you could maybe do some swirly lines. Um, you could do all kinds of different things, but go ahead and you can pick whatever design, however you want to design yours. I'm going to go ahead and design mine. I am going to try and do every other color, red and blue, because I'm curious what color it will turn into when I spin it. You know, if you mix certain colors, they make new colors. But the cool thing is, you get to pick however you want to design yours. This is for you. And if you have multiple pieces of cardboard, you can make lots and lots of different designs. So I colored in one side, I'm gonna color in the other side. And this time I'm gonna make some swirly design. Because I'm curious how this will look when I spin it. Okay, so I've got my spinner all colored in. Now is the part where we're going to put the penny in. So you need the sharp scissors again. And if you're a little one, get your parent to come help you at this time. If you need to pause the video to go grab them, that's okay. So we're going to take our scissors and the penny's not very big. 
So we're gonna just need a little teeny, right in the center, a little teeny cut. Open. And we don't want it too big because the penny needs to be snug in there. Okay, so now we've got the penny in there. He's nice and snug. And let's see what he does. Oh, that looks really cool. There is a lot of science happening when you spin your top. Physics is at work. When you spin it into motion, you are applying a force that converts the top's potential or stored energy into kinetic energy or the energy of motion. But tops aren't perfectly balanced and the surface they spin on isn't perfectly level. So these imperfections allow other forces like friction and gravity to begin to slow down the top and make it wobble, making it fall and stop. Another science concept at work is color mixing. The rapid spinning of the wheel causes the colors to blend into each other because our eyes cannot focus fast enough on one color. This allows us to see orange if we have yellow and red in our tops as they rapidly spin. I hope you had fun making your spinners today and I'd love to hear feedback if you have any. Um, and I look forward to seeing you at the next Kids Create. Bye.